Hey everybody, Mike here, Rolling Picker. I got an email the other day asking me, uh, since I sell clothing, how do I ship them? And uh, in particular, this guy saw a couple of my auctions and asked about the ties because uh, he didn't quite understand how do I, how can I ship those and uh, protect them. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you what I use and I'm going to try to get one into the bag. It takes me a little time because of the because of the, uh, uh, the hand situation. But I'm gonna try to show you guys today. So let's get on over and see how uh, Mike bags and tags ties to ship them. All right, so to get to the, how I do the ties, what I do is uh, a lot of people just take the tie like this. They bunch it up or they try to roll it up kind of nice, you know however they do it and then they shove it in a bubble mailer and send it off and you know I hear a lot of people go well you don't have to be that professional you just throw it in there and you know what if the guy if an individual has taken the time to buy a tie from me whether I sell it as it has a blam on it or whether it's in uh, excellent use condition um, you know I want to show a little professionalism I want to show them that you know I care about the purchase that they made from me. So what I did was I went on eBay and I'll I think it was eBay where I got these and I'll find the the link and send you to the seller if you want to do this. Um, I bought tie bags and they look like this. They're just a piece of they're like a sock. You know they're pretty good length and I put the ties in here. So let me show you how I do it. Show you the end result and then hopefully you know you can start looking a little more professional when you're selling even if it's used clothing now in this tie in particular i didn't bag um i'm going to give it to to goodwill it's knotted up in here and that at the at the middle point and the reason that happens or like the edges curl severely is you know guys yanking the ties off because they had a bad day of work and they yank it off and i mean i used to do it when i wore ties so i really don't want to sell it because to me it's defective and I don't think anybody's really going to want it. So anyway, here's what I did on all the other ties. I take them up and I match them. What I do is I make sure I put the, the small end in the little tie loopy thing here. See? This tie part. That's, you know, you would put, if you don't have a tie tack, and it keeps your tie from flying around. And then what I do is I even them up, even them up, see where I got it. And then I make sure, now this one might be a little difficult because it's knotted down here at the end. But what I do is I get it like so and I pinch it like this. Okay. Now I take the bag and they're pretty tight. So what I do is I open them up and I blow a little bit into them to expand them. And then I try to hold it open as best I can. And I start to tie in, into, the, into what the opening that I got there. And you shove it down just as much as you can get it to go. You blow a little more if you have to. And then I pick it up by the end and I start shaking it down. See until the, it slides down, until it slides down all, all the way down into the bag as far as I can get it to go. Okay. Went just a little bit too far. So we'll have to slide it back out a little bit. Anyway, I get it like that it's in the bag and then I do a fold over once and I even them up see. fold it over and then I take a little bit of tape and I tape it right here to hold the two the two halves to hold the two halves together I tape it up and then when that's taped I fold it over one more time 
and I bring that up until I have this. See how that looks? Now I've got one here that's already taped and and what I do is I tag them too. Like when I do the listings, I start it out with T01, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up. And that way I can find them. I can store them away and I can find them. So here's one that's finished. As you can see, it's got the tag on both sides in case it falls in the, in the box. You know, it gets turned either way. I can tell what it is by the number. This is a T34. So if somebody buys this, I believe this is a round tree. If somebody buys this, then I take... I print out a pack and slip, which is actually just a really nice thank you note. Identifies the auction that they bought and the item number. Doesn't do the price. I don't print out a PayPal pack and slip. Um, and it's got my little logo across the top. And then I stick it in a... I just open this up and shove it down in there. Put the pack and slip. Seal it. And there we go simple better looking than just throwing them in uh throwing them in a bubble mailer all messed up and i mean i don't know about you guys but when i open up a package and i get something even when it's clothing like the the uh the onesie that i showed you guys uh in the in the other video you know they packed that real nice they put it in a ziploc bag type thing it was like in a baggie it was protected so you know just show a little professionalism and it'll help yourself even if you're selling you stuff you know, because there's some manufacturers that don't even go that far with a lot of things. So anyway, that was on the tie. I hope that uh, answered your question. And I hope that helped any of you that are deciding to sell ties or clothes. Because you can get these real cheap. Um, these ties that I've got that, I've, that I'm, I'm selling, this is from that order that I got on, uh, that I won on Listia. Where I also got the hankies. And I've paired some hankies up with some of the ties. I've only got 56 cents into each one of these. So... $9.99, buy it now, best offer. $2.60 to ship. I take seven bucks, you know, my profit. Okay, maybe it's only three bucks or so after fees. But the thing is, is this volume. I want to sell a whole lot. So I'm always on the look for more, look out for more ties. They're easy to pack, they're easy to ship, they're easy to move. And when the bubble mailers are done, I'll use a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of bubble wrap and I'll use the plain poly bag. And it'll go even faster. So anyway, that's it for today. Um, we're going to get another video out for you on another item that uh, that I was asked about. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and you learned something. Uh, uh, pray that God blesses you with uh, much success and many sales in your, in, uh, your journey here on selling. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Roll and pick her out.